and all these different things, is an important part of innovation, knowing what features to not include? Absolutely. I think Apple is superior at, uh, like Steve Jobs spoke about, being able to say no. Having one mind that keep a product so good and usable and you don't want it cluttered. You just don't want too much of that junk. And most of the people in the world, the masses of the people, aren't the ones in this room. We're pretty much technical crowd and we like we can understand a lot of technology and we're very left brain and, and like a lot of structure and methods to do things. Most of the people are scared to death to admit they don't even understand these smartphones. And they're just afraid of them in the safest place in the world. This would be in Apple's little ecosystem actually, in Apple's sandbox. So it's actually a good move in a lot of ways um, for the world and obviously Apple's a very healthy company. So you, so any way you try to critique it, you're, it's really difficult to. Some of the decisions that you made as a product developer in the 1970s still really resonate with us today. Are there things that you would go back and change now in some of those decisions? <laughs> Um, I don't like to go back. I, I, I got this formula, H equals S minus F. Happiness, which is what life's about, is smiles minus frowns. So why set yourself up so you'll frown? I, if I've only made a different decision in life, that's setting yourself up for a frown. So I really don't go back. And you can't go back and say, if Apple had made this decision, if Steve Jobs hadn't done that, if you say all these things, you can't test them. There's no way to be absolutely sure. Um, I do think back just a little tiny, tiny bit there was one issue where I came out with this Apple II computer and it had integer only basic because I was a mathematics guy. We did our Hewlett Packard scientific calculators. All of the formats were in integers only. I wanted it for games. I wanted it for logic simulation. I only needed integers. That means you can't have decimal points in numbers like $32.65. You can't have the dollars point cents. And so we needed a floating point basic to do that. And I was working on one, Bill Gates walked in the door and he presented one to Apple for our microprocessor. I said, great, I can move on to other things. We can just license this one. When the license expired five years later, our entire company revenues were still coming from the Apple II and Microsoft sort of had us by the Kazungas. And uh, they started, they said we weren't allowed to write, to put out our basic that we had written on the Macintosh. We had to leave that open for Microsoft in order to relicense their basic on our money making product, the Apple II.